what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today right now right here we're gonna be watching a movie tropic thunder okay um this movie is a movie that i've always wanted to watch anyways you guys voted it in from the last update video that i did uh, most of the comments that came out said do tropic thunder do tropic thunder so that's what i'm doing first and then I'll move on to some other movies that I really wanted to see. Okay, so this is a movie I've always wanted to see because if I say it's funny, I was watching the um, the podcast the other day with Robert Downey Jr. Um, on the Joe Rogan Experience, and he was actually talking about him doing blackface. Um, that it wasn't that pleasant or whatever the situation is. If you want, you can go check out that interview. It was a great interview. It was very funny. The way, the way how we talked about it but in any case man let's go watch this movie and then i have something to say after let's see if i feel the same way he did <laughs> of how he described it because i think it's pretty funny i don't think people say blackface is offensive and i'm like okay i guess <laughs> you know what i'm saying it doesn't offend me personally you know what i'm saying um you know, it. I don't think blackface is is any different than me, um, pretending that I have titties. I don't, think, I don't think you know. But I'm I'm different. If it affects, if you feel like that's disrespectful, I I guess it is. I don't know. I don't know. Some of this stuff just doesn't make logical sense to me. It just doesn't. I just think people are just looking for stuff to be upset about. And it's that's just how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, is you know, white people appropriating black culture is not a bad thing. I don't understand why it is such a bad thing. You get what I'm saying? We pretend we act like sometimes I'm at I'm with my colleagues and stuff and I try and I you know what I'm saying? I make jokes and talk like them. You know what I'm saying? Like talk like a like a, a white girl and stuff like that, which is something that like, you know, after the first time I thought it was just something you see in movies. You get what I'm saying? But that's actually how some white girls do act where they're like, oh, my God. And, and this stuff like that, like those mannerisms, like and when you do it, it's funny to them. You get what I'm saying? They don't get upset. They don't be like, oh, that's racist or whatever. But with black, it's everything. Ugh, whatever. Let's not go there. Let's go watch the movie. Um, and I'll see you guys for the review. So this is not going to be on BitChute. This is only going to be on the Google Drive. So I don't put stuff like this on, on BitChute too much. It's going to get taken down anyways. Uh, more than likely, it's going to get blocked on BitChute. And that's the reason why I'm not going to put it over there because this is a movie. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit different than TV series. Um, you know, uh, I know it's a one-time thing, but... You know, if you can't watch it on the, if you can't watch it on a Google Drive, let me know. Maybe I'll put it up for a week over there. You can watch it. I take it down. All right, let me know. All right, let's go watch this movie. I'll see you guys for the review. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> Welcome back to the review of Tropic Thunder. What can I say, man? I enjoyed that movie thoroughly. I did not expect. To laugh this much, <laughs> I did not expect to laugh this this much. It was very comedic. Um, I'm not the biggest Ben Stiller fan because a lot of Ben Stiller stuff that he's done is very is very corny comedy. So I don't usually enjoy his movies as much. I mean, I liked. I think it was like um, what's the name of that movie again? Night at the Museum. I think that's the only movie that I really enjoyed of him. Not the sequel, the original. As I said, I'm not a huge Ben Stiller fan, but he was really funny in this movie. Um, Brandon T. Jackson um, was really funny. He didn't get a lot of lines to be funny. I know he's a funny dude um, because I think he was the one that played Martin Lawrence's son back in, I think it was like Big Mama's three year, Big Mama's house. Is it Big Mama's house or Big Mama? I don't even remember the name of that movie. Um, it's been so long since I've seen him in anything. I don't know what happened to him, um, to Brandon T. Jackson. Of course, you have Matthew McConaughey playing the agent. Tom Cruise as Les Grossman did an absolute amazing job by Tom Cruise. Um, with all that makeup 
that he put on to play that role. The the and of course he's weird because we know that Tom Cruise is not his figure is not he's not bulky like that. He ain't got them kind of gains, you know what I'm saying? So that was pretty awesome to see. Also, um who else who else is there? Um of course Robert Downey Jr. I'm gonna talk about him a little bit later, but um of course we have Jack Black. Always enjoy Jack Black. Jack Black is one of my favorite comedians. He's a movie comedians that I've encountered and he's one of my favorite. He's top five movie comedians. And the reason why I say movie comedian is because he's not a guy that does stand stand up. He's kind of reminds me of Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is also in my top five to love Ryan Reynolds as a, um, com um, a movie comedian. Um, Jack Black, amazing, amazing as always, man. Expect the same thing out of these guys because they're, they're, they're comedic roles. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Reynolds has done more serious roles that I've seen him in that I enjoy too. Um, Jack Black, not so much. You get what I'm saying? Like if he's trying to be serious in the movie, it's very hard for me to take him serious. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ryan Reynolds has done action movies and even his, in his action movies, he's really funny. He's done other, you know, dramatic roles and stuff like that. Um, that I've enjoyed too. You know what I'm saying? He's done romantic comedies, you know what I'm saying? So he's diverse in that way. So is Jack Black. So when it comes on to, um, Jack Black in this, I love what they did with his character. I love the whole concept of the movie. He's like a big fake on top of a fake. You get what I'm saying? They're filming a movie that ended up being real that they thought it was still fake and then it ended up being real again <laughs> so the concept is very unique well written well well thought out screenplay that they had for this movie and it worked i can understand why it's such a popular movie and people like it so much um what else um of course mr robert downey jr playing blackface in this movie and I think the balance that they created in the movie was having Brandon T. Jackson there to kind of check him, to be like, stop doing that. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like me. Like, I don't hate people that come up to me and be like, Wagwan. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm Jamaican. Like, I don't take offense to it, but I tell them not to do it because it's cheesy and it's corny from coming from you. It's cheesy and it's corny. It's not, it's not racist. It's not... You get what I'm saying? It's not offensive. You get you get what I mean? What's offensive to an to an individual from a particular country is saying, um, I know about your culture when you've never experienced it. That is wrong. I I think if I take offense to that, I don't think anybody would have a problem. Like, I don't like when people come up to me and be like, Oh, um, oh, you're Jamaican and you don't smoke weed? I'm you know, <laughs> you know, that's offensive to me because I'm like, what do you think the whole country smokes weed? <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's offensive because that's like just because a one part of the culture that you've experienced or that you're exposed to, you believe that everybody is now of the same mind and of the same way. Just like how I don't think every white person is racist. You get what I'm saying? Yes, they are white people who are racist, but not all of them are. And that's why I judge people as individuals instead of judging them as a group. Unless they're representing themselves as a group, you can assume that everybody is the same in that perspective, right? So for me, when it comes on to, to him playing blackface and having that balance with Brandon T. Jackson's character, you know what I'm saying? with the with the um with the bust nuts and <laughs> and um the 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 booty juice you know what i'm saying it's just it's so ironic you know to have that there you know what i'm saying it, it's unique the perspective and i think i think maybe they added that after because they knew if they just had him doing blackface just like that, it probably would have caused too much tension of not having there somebody there to be like, yo, that's not cool. 
You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I wouldn't have had a problem with it if he did it because I think the shit is funny. A, a white man acting like a acting like a black man is just as funny as a black man acting like a white man. Comedians do it all the time on stage talking like white people. Why is there no offense for that? But it's so it's not okay for white people to do blackface. I just don't get why they get so offended by blackface. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's risky for anybody, for 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 a white person to do it because they know the stigma behind it. Why is there a stigma? I don't know till this day. I don't understand. If you're doing it, you know what I'm saying. And they say, "Oh, this is how black people are." Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just simple things like that that I just, I don't get why people get so upset and carry on over, over just some really simple things and turn around and call it racism. It just, racism is so much more deeper than that. You get what I'm saying? For us to be trying to pick and choose these little obscure things that maybe the person is probably don't know any other way to honor your culture and to, you, you get what I'm trying to say? But, you know, they talk about culture appropriation and, and all of that other stuff that just doesn't work. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, he was talking about it on the Joe Rogan experience, the podcast, right? He was talking about it on it. And I was listen I listened to the entire interview um, and that section where he was specifically talking about it because Joe asked him basically if he was scared of doing it, you know. And of course he said, yes, I was scared of doing it. You know, he said, he, I think his mom, his family basically didn't want him to do it and all of this other stuff. And I can see why you get what I'm saying. I can see why. But at the same time, the shit is so funny, you know, because he, he said even his black friends were saying, yo, that shit was funny. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So no issues, man. Just 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 enjoy life. Why we got to have all these simple things turn into these huge controversies about nothing? The man didn't mean no harm. He was just trying to be funny. And there was a moment in the movie where he got checked really good. You get what I'm saying? He got checked really good. You know what I'm saying? Because he was tired. Um, Jackson's character really got tired. You know what I'm saying? He got tired of seeing him doing it, but he never stopped. He never got out of character or anything. That's just who he is. And method act method actors are just like that. They take the role down to the bone. You hear the man say that he does not come out of character until the DVD commentaries are done, bro. <laughs> like you have a lot of actors that, that are like that. You get what I'm saying? To the point where they can't separate, um, you know, reality from the movie that they just made. You have some actors that are like that. Um, I think that's one of the, what happened to Heath Ledger. A lot of people said that that's what happened to him. He couldn't come out of that Joker, um, that Joker that he played in the dark Knight. He just, he couldn't come out of the character. So basically he started doing drugs and all this other stuff. It just had a bear, a, a, a long time term effect even after the movie was filmed just acting that crazy and stuff like that it affected him because he dove deep into the character and you could see he deserved the, the oscar even though he died before he got it he deserved it because that performance will always stick with me for the rest of my life that's for sure because it's one of my favorite movies of all times so it's just crazy to think that people were you know probably upset about him doing this when he was just trying to be funny it was funny especially the part when he when he, when he was like what do you mean you people <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like it's something that that black people say all the time and it was like uh i the person wasn't even referring to you like that you get what i'm saying it just take everything and just make it just such, such a big deal you get what i'm saying and then you can't live peacefully because you have all this stuff just clogging up your mind that's not even supposed to be there and you won't just concentrate on greatness. You know what I mean? So this was an awesome movie, man. Awesome movie. Top to bottom, I enjoyed it. I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 um, for everything. You get what I'm saying? Um, as I said, it was a really cheesy movie. 
You get what I'm saying? But you got the jokes. The jokes were right in front of you to get. It wasn't overdone. You get what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't overdone. I, so that's why I'm saying I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 um, for all they for all they did and all for all the stuff that they made fun of. There was some really like borderline racist jokes. You know what I'm saying? That that really went there. You get what I'm saying? And I love humor like that. I love when you're not afraid to go there. I.e. Dave Chappelle. I.e. A lot of people that is out there right now doing doing comedy that is not afraid to tell jokes, man. It's jokes. You get what I'm saying? Just take a break and take a hike, man. Leave people alone. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's my review of Tropic Thunder. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. And also, if you came back and watched my review of it, I really do appreciate it, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what part made you laugh the hardest. And also... Subscribe if you knew there's more movies to come. Thank you guys so much. I'll at you later. Peace.